I'm so curious about you. I sense your excitement. Ask me anything. Tell me what I would see if I visited. You would get to see a massive canyon, some frozen icebergs, geysers, and some craters. It sounds beautiful. I assure you it is worth the trip. However, you need to bring your coat, because it gets really cold. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, I was wondering, have you ever had any visitors? Yes, I have had some. The most notable was New Horizons, the spacecraft that visited me. That must have been exciting. The team that created New Horizons was very excited to see me. I also sent them back a picture of myself since I had not been seen up close before. That's so great. What else do you wish people knew about you? I wish people knew that I am not just a random ice ball. I am actually a beautiful planet. Well, I think you're beautiful. I am glad to hear that. I don't get the recognition I deserve. Sometimes people refer to me as just a dwarf planet. Don't let it bother you. You're amazing. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. Thanks for talking with me. Anytime, I am always open for people to chat. I hope you have a great day. Either. What's the worst place you've ever landed? That would have to be in a puddle. I was just barely still intact, so I was stuck there for a few minutes. It was quite annoying. Oh, that sounds awful. Were you able to fly again? Thankfully, I was. I had a few minor injuries to my wing, but you can't really tell unless you know what to look for. What's the secret to a really good paper airplane? Well, my good friend, I must first ask you to specify what you mean by good. Some may think it's how far it goes, some may think it's how straight it goes, and some may think it's how flat it lands. So what do you think? I care the most about distance. Then I would have to say a nice wide wing span is what you'll want. Also, the paper needs to be really firm. What's the farthest you've ever flown? I've flown over about 1,500 feet. The wind was perfect that day. Wow, that's really far. That must have been quite a throw. It was. I was actually thrown from a hot air balloon, believe it or not. That's so cool. What did the world look like from out there? It's actually a lot different than it looks from the ground. The world is so large with its vast oceans and mountains. It really puts things into perspective. Yeah, it's important to keep perspective. Hey, I'm wondering, do you have anything you want to share with the people that are watching at home? I do. I just want them to know that if the wind is perfect, and you're made of the right materials, you can go absolutely anywhere. 